Hello, my name is James Mulvaney. Welcome along to this video. Hope your day is going well. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to use NiceCast, which is a live broadcasting software for internet radio stations. It can be installed on Mac, so it'll work on an iMac, it'll work on a MacBook Pro. And it's available from Rogamobia. Now, this is a paid bit of software. However, there is a free trial available from their site, which I'm going to show you how to set up and use to broadcast live to Radio.co today. Now, Radio.co is a live internet radio platform. You can set up and automate your entire station from the cloud via your browser, and you can invite multiple DJs to come and broadcast on your station too. Now in this case, I'm, I've got a show which is going to start in 10 minutes' time. As you can see, the DJ bar is showing up here on our dashboard. So your DJs will literally be able to see when their show is due to begin and when it's scheduled to start. Currently, you can see the connection status shows that I've got no DJ connected. Well, let's change that. What I need to do is copy this information, the host, the port, and the password, which is unique to my account, um, and I need to transfer it into NiceCast in order for it to be able to connect. So to do this, let's hit on Window, and then choose Show Server. This will bring up the server options for NiceCast. As you can see, it's currently set to the default option, which is the built-in server, which we don't actually need in this case. We'll click on the Add button, and we'll select, uh, which is currently just come up, the untitled server. So let's first of all just give this a name so we can identify it for future and we'll call it radio.co. We then need the password, the address and the port which we can retrieve from here. So let's just click on this information. When that goes green it indicates that it's been copied over to your clipboard so you can just paste it in without any worry of making any kind of mistakes. The host name or the address, we'll paste that across into NiceCast. And then finally the port number. We'll copy this information across as well. Having pasted all that in, we know we're now ready to broadcast. And what we'll do is we'll close the server's information that will be set as default for future. Now all I have to do is hit the start broadcast button. As you can see, the levels are now picking up my microphone. I'm not going to play any music for this demo. And also, if I head back onto our dashboard here, you can see that the connection status has changed to green. It says connected and I'm ready to go live. Now currently, because my show hasn't actually started, and there's nine minutes left before I'm due to go on the air, no one will actually be able to hear what I'm saying, okay? But as soon as that hits zero, listeners will be able to hear what you're broadcasting at that moment in time. The reason we've designed it like this is so your DJs or you can show up just before your show is due to begin and connect just to make sure that the very second your show is due to begin, you're already there. The system will then cut from the playlist to your live broadcast. Your listeners will hear what you're broadcasting from your Mac and then, you know, if you get disconnected, for example, let's say your internet connection goes down and if I, if I click on stop broadcast here, um, the system will detect that and it will actually go back grey again, no GGA is connected. So it's always a great uh, reminder, visual indicator to see what the status of your connection is. But it, your listeners won't get kicked off, they won't hear any dead air. All that will happen in this case is it will transfer back to whatever scheduled playlist is, is on the go, okay? And then let's say my internet connection resumes or I start broadcasting again, it again will kind of cut back onto my live broadcast, which is really, really great. This is a very redundant way of broadcasting and it ensures that there is no dead air. You know, your connection is always online and your listeners won't get any kind of bad experience at all. They won't ever get kicked off. In fact, chances are they probably won't even have a clue that this has happened. So thanks very much for watching this tutorial. Radio.co is a platform which is dedicated to live internet radio stations. It allows you to, as I say, automate and run everything from a simple web-based control panel from within the cloud. We're a team of experts and we'd love to answer any questions you've got. So if you want to get in touch with us, our email address is studio at radio.co or you can reach us on Twitter at radio.co. Thanks very much for watching today and I'll speak to you soon. Bye for now.